how money and banking work and why they're broken today. There are over 160 currencies in the world today, and the money supply from most of them increases rapidly, which persistently and invisibly dilutes people's savings and wages and siphons that value away towards others. Money can be printed or lent into existence for corporate interests, bankers, or corrupt officials, and this purchasing power is taken away from the public in ways that are purposely more subtle and harder to detect than taxation. And as people try to reach outside of their regions for better money elsewhere, capital controls and other points of friction are often used to keep them in. Even in wealthy countries, all is not well. While inflation may not be as high, the money concentrates toward a smaller and smaller number of hands over time, and more and more debt is piled up on the government ledger. Political polarization grows, as nobody can agree on who is causing it or why it's happening. Improving technology should make things cheaper over time, but central banks' inflation mandates are to ensure that prices continually increase instead by continually expanding the amount of money in the system. Money affects us all. It's how we make contracts, how we coordinate economic activity, and how we store our purchasing power for the future. And while the world has improved in many ways, money itself continues to be broken for most people worldwide.